Hi. Now in an earlier video in this series I showed you that if we were given a second order linear differential equation then if we worked out the auxiliary equation and found that the roots were real and different those roots being m1 and m2 then the general solution was of the form y equals ae to the power m1x plus be to the power m2x and the purpose of this particular video is just to give you an example based on this idea and here's the example so you might even like to give this a go so if you do just pause the video come back when ready and uh, you can check your work solution with mine okay welcome back if you had a go so let's see how you got on well first of all we've got to work out what that auxiliary equation is so we we'll just write that in here and I'd always encourage you to do that okay auxiliary equation is and it's going to be 3m squared minus 4m plus 1 equals 0 when we compare it to this okay so we've got 3m squared minus 4m plus 1 equals 0 and to solve this we would generally see if it would factorize and uh, we can see that it does because it's going to be two brackets then equals 0 you're going to have a 3m here and an m here and then it's going to be minus 1 and minus 1 You'd find that b squared minus 4ac, if we did do the discriminant, okay, it would be positive, greater than zero, leading us to two different roots. Those roots are going to be m equaling one third and m equaling one. So that means that our general solution, okay, we'll just write that in, the general solution for this equation is going to be y equals a a constant a e to the power m1x well if we take m1 as being that root there one third x and then it'll be plus another constant b multiplied by e to the power m2x where m2 is now this root one so we've got e to the power one x well i'll just leave that as x okay so there's our general solution. Hope you're able to get that. Further on in this series, we'll do some examples where we need to work out what these constants A and B are. So we'll be given different boundary conditions or initial conditions to do that. But for the moment, just showing you how we can work out the general solution. Now you might like to look at what happens if the roots are for instance equal and the roots could be imaginary so do take a look at the videos on those and the best place to see links to this is on my website examsolutions.net okay